students, now that you've been doing some research about habitats and what they provide for living things, we need to revisit some of our questions from earlier in our challenge. How do humans model habitats and enclosures for animals that are in captivity? And what are the things that we need to think about when animals are in a captive enclosure? Well, here I am at Ecotarium going down the path to some of the enclosures. Let's take a look at how humans do model those exhibits and habitats for captive animals. The first thing we have to think about is shelter. A shelter is a safe place where a living thing can make its home and grow. An animal uses a shelter to stay safe from the weather, temperature, and from predators. Next, a living thing needs food. Food is the energy a living thing needs to survive. Plants need nutrients from the soil and energy from the sun. Some animals eat plants, others eat other animals, and some eat both plants and other animals. Living things also need water. They need the right kind of water and the right amount of water. Many living things need water to drink, while others need water to move around or swim. Living things need the right climate. This includes temperature and the amount of how wet or dry the land is. Some living things do well in warm and dry climates. Others do well in cool and wet climates. Living things need space. Animals need a good amount of space for exercise and to stay healthy. Plants need a good amount of space to grow in the correct conditions. Living things also need what's called enrichment. Enrichment keeps animals active and busy or playful. It also stimulates the senses and keeps their brain busy. Wow, this is such an exciting challenge. I can't wait to see what you students come up with. Happy engineering! Let's reflect on what we've learned from our exhibit investigations. What do living things need from their habitats to survive? How do humans model habitats for animals in captivity? Be sure to answer these two questions when you begin to imagine, plan, design, and build your animal exhibits for the Ecotarium.